sits on it so this is where the carcass is joined together you understand that is a carcass this is a carcass this is a front piece of oak that goes to cover the two edges and the doors will be either side of it so I want to put my frame so that it's sitting underneath the join of the two carcasses so that's why I like we got 25 millimeters at both ends. So I'll go and do that now. Right now, well here's what we've done so far. I mean we've made the carcasses. That's the base carcasses, that's the top carcasses. So that's like your foundation. So once you get your carcasses uh, uh, ready, you set up in the workshop and it gives you something to work on. And just now we're working on the columns. These are the columns here. Yeah. So here is a column here. And I've got biscuits on it so that the column will actually get biscuited onto the front of the carcass and there's a wee overhang here and that stops the shelves from coming out. It's a helicopter. I should go and shout to boy. Stop. So so that one's up. Now this one, picture this, right? I've got to get this into the van. Set it up in the job and make it as simple as possible. I try and do everything I can in the workshop because I try and turn it into from a fitting uh, to a delivery. That's what I'm trying to do so that it's like it just goes in, sits in the place, minimum of work, gets fitted into place. The more I do in the workshop, the better it is. So, like this column will get biscuited onto there, glued in the workshop, so that's on. This column here, and the column purposes are really to hide, hide, hide the joints of the unit. So it's hiding that. So like so, I've made these biscuits on one side of the column, so that they'll be biscuited onto this 
one of the carcass. You understand? Not this one, this one. So that this can get fixed dead onto this. That one can get fixed dead onto that one. One here, I'll do the same. Same carcass, I'll fix it onto here. Not here, here. So that's fixed out of there. That's fixed out of there. So this carcass will have both its columns fixed on. This carcass here will have the column fixed onto it. So it's just got one column fixed onto it. And then this car he carcass here will have this column fixed onto here. So think about it. In theory, when I arrive at the job, I'll set up my base units, I'll put them on the floor, I'll fit my work top, fit it on, and then I'll lift this unit in place first. That unit goes in place first. Then I'll go over to this side and I'll get this unit lifted up in place. That unit will go up first. Then the next unit to go in is this one because it'll have one column fixed on it that'll cover this. That can go up. And then the last one to go on is this unit which has got both the columns on will slide into place. And that's how it needs. It's very little. It's near rocket science. Okay, and once I've done that, the corners. I'll put my corners on and put the front of the worktop on because that's one big long oak piece goes right on the front and my doors will clip on and as I'm doing that I'm slowly backing out, backing out the piece, treating so I can get on my mind.